Hi and welcome to Kimmy Fitness, my mummy fitness. So today I had a mummy MOT and it was brilliant. I wish, wish, wish I had got myself down there straight after having my two children. Go as soon as you as soon as those six weeks are over, get yourself booked in and go. It's really, really worth it and work with them. I hope this video makes you book that appointment because it's the best thing just hearing that everything's all right and what I can work on and what's going on and having someone in my business, you know, asking how private things are, you know, really checking on checking in on my lady parts and my stomach and really really being thorough and really feeling like I'm being looked after which was really nice so um, I hope you book in after this video and I really recommend where I went today she was fantastic which I'll post the information as well so yes enjoy and book your mummy MOT You're gonna bend your knees. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. You bend this knee. So what I'm looking for, I'm checking uh, the trophicity of the tissue. So it's the quality. Is is there any dryness? Is it red? Uh, is there any discharge? Thing like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I want to check. Did you have an episiotomy? So if you have had an episiotomy, I want to check how it looks like. Okay. Um, is it really red? Is there some discharge, uh, yellow discharge coming out? Uh, and then when I check it, I want to check is it painful, you know? Uh, is it painful when I press? You know? And then I'm going to ask you to cough. So this is mainly I want to check if you have any loss of urine when you do that. Okay. So I'll ask you to cough. And the other reason for that, I want to check if you have any prolapse of an organ. So as when I say prolapse, it's more, is it sagging? Is it falling? Mm -hmm. You know, it could be the bladder, it could be the uterus. Okay. Which in this sense could give you this sense of heaviness sometime. Okay. Right? Yeah. And then I'm going to ask you to contract. And I want to see when I do that, I want to see, are you able to contract uh, with a uh, normal strength uh, are you able to hold a squeeze you know mm -hmm. um, and then the second the second thing I want to know if you pelvic floor is able to relax completely mm. and you're not clenching your pelvic floor you know because this is those, those few things are uh, very important for a, a good pelvic floor it's not only the strength it's also the ability to relax properly relax All yeah right? that's the one okay. for me all right, so I'm going to have a look, mm -hmm. and I'm going to ask you to cough for me, please. <coughs> and again. <coughs> okay, that's good. All right. So, so far you've got a good tonicity at resting. Any pain at all? No okay. pain. Now I'm going to ask you to squeeze you, so it's squeezing your anus, vagina, clitoris. Okay. So it's like you want to hold the farts, it could be that, yeah, perfect, exactly. And you're going to relax. And again. And you relax. I'm going to check on the right side and just squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Now you're gonna squeeze and hold. Hold. Keep the hold and you relax. Okay, so that's a bit like a slow relaxation. You're gonna contract and you relax. Can you feel that? Contract, hold. And you relax. Okay, let's check on the other side. 
You're gonna contract again and you relax. Can you feel the difference in relaxation? So here it's relaxing a little bit faster. Yeah, actually. Contract, hold, hold the squeeze and you relax. Very fast compared to the right side. Yeah. So for me here, there's something which could be related to this pain you're having in the right quadrants of yeah. your abdomen. Okay, so just contract and you relax. It's very slow and it's it's holding a little bit. So there's a partial, for me it's partial relaxation. It's not a full relaxation compared mm. to here where I contract and you relax. Here it's very quick and it goes down very fast. Yeah. Here I need to help it a little bit, you know. Yeah. Okay. Just contract and relax. A little bit better. Contract and relax. Okay, you're gonna cough for me. again <coughs> okay and just relax now what are you gonna do you're gonna take a deep breath in mm -hmm. tuck your tummy in and squeeze the belly floor and you hold and you relax good so I want you to, to do that at home because this is a way to bring everything up, to re-exercise, you know. Just contract. Relax. I'm just gonna tell you. So we're gonna check you tummy. Really, I wanna check above and below the umbilicus. What I'm looking for, it's a split, a separation, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, between this this line here okay all right so for that I'm gonna ask you to lift up your head for me okay and here if you can see there's mm -hmm. a little gap it's not a big gap and it goes until there roughly mm -hmm. it's about one finger active and if you slowly relax your your head it's about we are about two fingers passive on about phalanges and a half so it's about one centimeter and a half below we're gonna do that above the umbilicus so we do the same thing again you lift up and same I mean here very small you just one finger um, above of white, you know, it's not very deep. Mm -hmm. It's about zero five um, centimeters, and it goes there. So, you know, same thing. We can say two fingers until in the middle here. Mm -hmm. What happened is you've got the two rectus abdominis mm -hmm. right on both sides in the middle you've got the linea alba mm -hmm. right so this is more a shit like a tendon so it's more like an elastic so in this sense yes it's structural because it's stretched out mm -hmm. during the pregnancy uh, depending on you know uh, your condition as physical condition but also um, how big your bump is mm -hmm. it's gonna be more or less bigger uh, the way to kind of make the trick is really to go and work on the core mm -hmm. to bring those together because the, sh the sheets of tendon you can't just physically unstretch it so you work on the abs okay so the core muscle really what I so it would be oblique you can work on the oblique the erectus and the minis and, and so on what it ever go back together as if you don't do anything if you do do something yes if you do do something yes yes 
It will. Okay. Cool. Just need some exercise. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, but you can, obviously, if it's functional. Yes. And you know how to engage yes. during exercise. Yes. Then you right. can really sort it out. So in a sense, it yeah. is kind of, you have a structural aspect to it, which is the sheets of tannin is uh, of a stretch. So this, you can't do anything about it. Mm. But functionally, you can work on it. Mm. So you just need to activate uh, the muscle properly, really. Yeah, but then if it's overstretched, it's always going to be open. It's not if you work on the muscle. Okay. So that's it's just like, shorten. It's just going to close the gap. Yeah, and close it. Yes. Cool. That's how it works. All right? Yeah.